Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com. Today is April 14th, 2015. It is currently 12.31 p.m. Chicago time. All right, what I thought I'd do in this video here is discuss the MACD indicator and divergences. A very, very important subject for anyone serious about chart analysis. So let's get right into it. I'm currently showing you a daily chart of the British pound. It's updated till today, April 14th. And I wanted to show you this one because we are currently looking at a bullish divergence pattern. All right, look, this is how it works. Here's the MACD. That's this indicator you see right here on the bottom. Okay, uh, moving average uh, convergence divergence, I guess is what MACD stands for. And what you see here is that when prices are declining, you can see that the uh, signal and oscillator lines here in the MACD will cross down. It will make this red histogram uh, bar show up here, and it will start moving down. Then prices here, you can see, started moving up. Well, it made a big high here, but it technically was moving up, and you can see that uh, expressed by this histogram here as well. And eventually, the signal line and oscillator line crossed up here uh, and started going into the green zone, started, uh, you know, a bullish type of uh, signal here or pattern, if you will. But then notice what happens. Prices then declined again. And if you'll notice where prices declined to yesterday, April 13th, you can see that the low here is lower than the low the last time it made this cycle bottom pattern here. Okay? And what's significant about that is when you look at the MACD, Notice that this oscillator signal lines here, when it made this low and then it came up, when it came back down again, it did not move lower than the last time, the last level that it had reached. But prices did. When you see a pattern like this where prices start making a lower cycle low, but the MACD itself is not doing the same thing. In other words, the previous low is still lower than the current one and now it's starting to cross up again because of today's bullish day up that's called a bullish divergence and that is often a very strong indication that prices are likely to continue moving higher let me show you some other examples now here is the daily chart of the bonds market 30-year bonds t-bonds and let's just take a look at the very top here that occurred on January 30th. Now, it was a Friday. You'll notice that first that prices topped out here. Okay, this was uh, January 16th. And you can see that the MACD had its signal line way up here. Okay, then you see that prices pulled back again. Now we're in this bull trend here, so it's it's just a bull trend correction. And you can see that the MACD started curving down and it started to form its little dip here, but it stops around right here. Prices then resume and move higher, and it actually makes a higher high on January 30th than it did back on January 16th. But notice that the MACD did not. Notice the peak here in the MACD is lower than it was in January 16th. That's a bearish divergence. That often indicates that the market is likely to start moving down, which you can see was definitely the case. Let's look at another example. Here is the live cattle market, and I'm going to draw your attention back here to when it first made this bottom on January 26, 2015. And you can see that the MACD is right here at this level. Then we see that prices rose up, declined, not as low as before, and the MACD follows suit. 
it did not go as low either. Okay, so far everything is just normal. Prices then rose again. So did the MACD. It rose again. And you can often see this too as the histogram. And then prices declined again. And you'll notice that prices declined here on February 24th. And it went down below the last two lows that it had made. Yet, if you look here on the MACD, you'll see that it failed to move lower than those two previous lows in the live cattle market. That's a bullish divergence and a strong indication that the market is likely going to turn bullish, which you can see here that the market did in fact turn bullish in the live cattle market. Let's see if we can find another example. Now here's a recent example in the wheat market and we can see that back here on February 2nd, 2015, it, it followed after this bearish trend down. It made this bottom and started to rally up. And the MACD followed suit. Then we can see that prices then declined and made this bottom here on March 6th. And while the MACD followed suit mildly, it did not move lower than it did back here yet prices moved lower than it did back here. This is called a bullish divergence and this is an indication of bullishness in the wheat market. Now wheat has since then been overall bullish although it has not turned into a bull trend at this time. However this low is still holding at this time even though we're currently experiencing a pullback. Now, of course, if this happened again, if prices were to move lower than here and this did not follow suit, then you have a double indication of a bullish divergence and uh, you certainly want to start looking to invest long in the wheat market. Right now, I would call this uh, sideways to bullish, but this is a very strong indication here that it is more bullish than bearish due to this divergence, bullish divergence. All right, well, that's just a few examples there of bullish and bearish divergences. I really want to stress that the MACD is one of my favorite indicators when it comes to charting analysis. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is this bullish and bearish divergence. While you will not always get this at your uh, significant tops and bottoms, when you do get them, they're definitely something you want to take notice of and most likely act upon. Well, thanks again for watching my video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe so that you'll be informed of new videos as they uh, come out. And I also have a free newsletter at my website at www.amazingaccuracy.com. Please come visit us and I'll see you in the next video.